Have you ever looked at your garden and thought, this soil is done for, nothing could ever grow here again? If so, you're not alone. Every gardener has faced the heartbreak of lifeless, compacted, nutrient-starved soil that refuses to support even the toughest weeds. But what if I told you there's an ancient liquid, simple, natural, and surprisingly effective, that can bring dead soil back to life almost overnight? No store-bought fertilizer needed. Welcome back to Soil Stories, where we explore the hidden secrets of the earth beneath our feet. Today, we're uncovering the power of a time-tested elixir that has been used for centuries to transform barren dirt into thriving, living soil ecosystems. So, here's the secret of the ancient liquid. Before modern fertilizers and chemical boosters, ancient farmers relied on a potent natural solution made from everyday organic materials, compost tea, also known as the liquid gold of the garden. This ancient liquid isn't just compost dissolved in water, it's a living brew teeming with beneficial microorganisms, enzymes and nutrients that instantly jumpstart soil life. Unlike synthetic fertilizers that feed plants directly and often harm the soil in the process, compost tea feeds the soil itself, restoring its natural ecosystem so that plants can thrive from the roots up. You know, healthy soil isn't just dirt, it's actually a living, breathing community of microbes, fungi, and bacteria all working together to break down organic matter, circulate nutrients, and even protect roots from disease. But, when soil dies, maybe from overuse, compaction, or chemical exposure, these vital organisms just disappear. That's where compost tea comes in. When you brew compost tea the right way, you're multiplying billions of beneficial microbes in a nutrient-rich liquid, and once you pour that into your soil, these microbes get to work right away breaking down old organic matter, releasing trapped nutrients, and rebuilding the whole structure of your soil. In just a few days you'll start to notice some changes. Hard compact soil really starts to soften and breathe again. Earthworms come back, creating air tunnels and helping with drainage. And your plants develop stronger roots and, honestly, a much richer color. This isn't magic, it's microbiology in action. So, how do you make this ancient liquid at home? Well, you don't need any fancy equipment or expensive products. Honestly, everything you need is probably already in your backyard. Here's the simple recipe. First, start with quality compost. Use well-aged, fully decomposed compost from your pile or a trusted organic source. It should smell earthy, not rotten. Second, add non-chlorinated water. Fill a 5-gallon bucket with water and just let it sit for about 24 hours to allow chlorine to evaporate, since chlorine kills beneficial microbes. Now, mix in your compost. You'll want to add about 2 cups of compost for every gallon of water, just to get the right balance. Next, tie it all up in a porous cloth or mesh bag. Think of it like making a giant tea bag, and then go ahead and submerge it in the water. The next step is to feed the brew. To really help those microbes multiply, add a tablespoon of unsulfured molasses or maybe just a splash of fish hydrolysate. This step gives your microscopic friends a solid source of food and energy, which is super important for a healthy tea. Now, aerate the mix. Stir the liquid every so often, or honestly, even better, use an aquarium air pump to bubble oxygen through the tea for about 24 to 36 hours. Oxygen is what keeps the good microbes thriving and, just as importantly, it prevents harmful bacteria from forming. Alright so after brewing, you'll want to strain the liquid and use it right away. Just pour it directly onto your soil, or if you prefer you can use it as a foliar spray for the leaves, and honestly, the results can be seen within just a few days. So, why does compost tea work better than fertilizer? Well, while chemical fertilizers might give your plants a quick nutrient boost, they often leave the soil poorer in the long run. They disrupt the natural balance, kill off beneficial microorganisms, and can even cause harmful salt buildup. Compost tea, on the other hand, restores that balance. It rebuilds soil life instead of just replacing it. It strengthens root systems, improves nutrient retention, and enhances soil structure so water and air can move freely. Over time, your soil becomes self-sustaining, meaning less work, fewer inputs and, honestly, healthier plants all year round. 
And here's the best part. Even if your soil looks beyond saving, compost tea can bring it back. You know, many gardeners report seeing seedlings thrive in spots where nothing grew before, proof that the ancient wisdom of organic soil care still holds true today. So, my very first experience with what some folks call liquid gold, compost tea, was honestly a bit of a leap of faith. I remember, I was pretty skeptical at first. My raised beds had turned gray and, well, just lifeless after a really harsh dry season, and I'd tried every fertilizer under the sun, you know. But, within about two weeks of applying the tea, the soil started looking darker and richer. And then, almost like magic, new shoots appeared on plants I'd almost given up on. The transformation was honestly so dramatic that even my neighbors started asking what kind of secret potion I was using. I just smiled and said, ancient wisdom in a bucket. That's when it really hit me. Gardening isn't about feeding plants, it's about feeding the soil. Alright, let's talk about some pro tips for getting the most out of your compost tea. First off, always use fresh tea. Compost tea is alive and honestly its potency drops after about 48 hours so you'll want to apply it as soon as it's ready. And, you know, applying it often really helps. Once every two weeks during the growing season is just about perfect for keeping your soil biology thriving. Don't forget about cover crops and mulch either. Using those alongside compost tea protects and feeds your soil between applications. But here's the thing, avoid overdoing it. More isn't always better. Healthy soil needs balance, and too much tea can actually make it too rich, especially for those delicate plants. The practice of steeping organic matter in water, believe it or not, goes back centuries. Ancient Chinese, Egyptian, and indigenous farmers all made similar brews to nourish their fields long before chemical fertilizers were even a thing. They might not have understood the microbiology behind it, but they recognized one truth that we're really starting to rediscover today. Living soil is the foundation of all growth. With compost tea, you're not just feeding your plants, you're reviving an ecosystem, you're working with nature, not against it. So, final thoughts, your soil's comeback story starts right here. If your soil feels dead, don't give up. There's life waiting just beneath the surface, it only needs a spark to wake up. And honestly, that spark can come from this simple ancient liquid you can make at home. Try brewing your first batch this week. Watch your soil come alive again. Your plants thrive like never before, and your garden transform from the roots up. If you found this story helpful, subscribe to Soil Stories on YouTube for more deep dive gardening secrets, and share this video with your fellow growers. Let's spread the ancient wisdom of living soil, one garden at a time. Hashtags for today's episode are Soil Stories, Compost Tea, Organic Gardening, Healthy Soil, Regenerative Gardening, Garden Tips, Sustainable Living, and Grow Your Own.